is off the charts. How could we forget? Energy trust with the PL though. Yeah, this is this is dicey. Now you do have the LT against PL, so overwhelming odds is so much value here for FBZ to shove Jackie away. But we've seen Jackie kind of just not care about the laning phase as much because he will just get the space. Boom has to be on the aggressive. They should know by now that Jackie is the key to MG Trust. If this yep. guy gets farm, he just overtakes. That he does, and he's on his signature PL now. One of the specials from Jackie. It's going to be pretty tough to slow Jackie down with the draft you've got from Boom Esports, but we'll see if they can focus in on this PL and make sure he does not have a good game. Easier said than done, though, for sure. You've definitely got the tools there to control up this PL this game. Let's see what they can do. Boom Esports, they'd hate to get 3-0'd in a grand final up against yeah. Motivate Trust, who just kind of came out of nowhere. The, they've got to get some space out for Dreamo Cell here. Like, I worry about the diffusal timing for Jackie. If it comes out fast with... Yeah, no again, chill, MG Trust, they are running this Enchantress. It can be lane dominant. We have seen Q's Tiny already in play. They should know what to expect. They should be ready to counteract that aggression from MG Trust. Boom. A lot on the line, Mike. They need to win to keep the games going. That they do. We'll, uh, we'll bring up some loop at odds and see what's going on there. And Boom is still favored, believe it or not. So even with this 0-2 uh, this kind of score right now for them, they are still the favorites in this third matchup. It is still fairly close in terms of odds, but they are going to be sitting as the favorites to start things off for game number three. See if those odds are right for this third game. See what Dreamasaur can get done on this Morphling again. It has been a while since we've seen him play this morph. Hmm. You do tend to prefer to see, you know, Dreamasaur on a kind of mid-game yep. carry, but Morph's not really one of them. No, not quite. I mean, you could fight early if you go, say, an S and Y, but we just rarely see that from Wolflings. I think in this game, they're going to have to protect Rumus a lot more to get that initial farm going. They really need to pressure Jackie. I think, boom, the emphasis is less on getting Rumus all up, but more on keeping Jackie down. So they've got to get this off lane off to a really good start. They do draw even in bounties. Not much of a scuffle there as the lanes do start to break out, of course, up top. You will have Maseros with Q once more on the Signature Tide and the Tiny that Q plays amazingly well on. We'll see if they get that same snowball start against a Morphling and a lane partner in the Venge. Might not be as simple. Of course, uh, this lane is rather passive. Like, it takes a while for the Venge to really have impact. And the Morphling, level 1, just has the Agi Shift. So you're going to be focused more on the initial last hits here. And a couple of toss plays. I do like the fact that KSQ does go for that level 1 wave of terror, though. The Tiny already has zero armor at level 1, so just getting a minus 3 on that armor, definitely going to make KSQ hit a lot harder. Have a look at that mid lane. We'll see Makoto. He'll be up against Fearless on the Void Spirit. We'll see if Makoto can have a bit of a better game this time around. Of course, the last time we saw him on this Wind Ranger, he was extremely dominant. Fearless... Also extremely dominant on the Void Spirit, so it could really go either way. It's, a, it's an interesting back and forth. I think the lane is actually rather even. If you consider that Mikado's harassment with right clicks and wind run to boost himself is counteracted by the rest of the pulse. So your harassment comes down to power shot. And because, you know, you prioritize that for farming, you're not going to be able to shove Fearless out as much as you'd want. So it's a back and forth one. Nikado is pulling slightly ahead early on. Going to have some emphasis on those power runes for both of these heroes, though. We'll see if the supports can help out down the line. You've got High Down Bot along with FBZ. So Marana should have a good time running up, but you've got Boom Bell here with Jackie. And Jackie's initial farm is going fine. He's not under as much pressure. 7 to 1. Slightly behind Dream Assault's 10 to 1. But they are getting a lot of good harassment off the hide. And that, that is one thing you have to watch from the inch. When she, if she does manage to get a good creep, she can also start to pump it up. But hide is playing it right, just clearing out the large camp, constantly leaving no creep options there for the enchantress. Definitely a nice little plays out from hide. And this was always going to be a problem for Boom Bell. 
So he does have the level 1 impetus as well, so he can dish out a lot of damage onto that Murata. Already forcing out the salve there from Hyde. Back over that mid lane, Fearless. Being harassed out quite nicely here by Makoto. Of course, you're always going to have the advantage in this lane because you are the ranged hero in that Wind Ranger. Fearless is uh, just going to have to play very cautiously. Though, in terms of CS, he is currently at the top with 16 and 2 on the Void Spirit. So, even with all the harassment coming out, he's not suffering too much. Worst case scenario, he brings out some more regen for himself. It looks like he is going to have the bottle up pretty soon anyway. Yeah, and I think that's all you really want here is the Void Spirit. You get your EXP, you can trade evenly at the least and farm. Even if you expend some money on regen, you're fine. You expect the Wind Ranger to try to pull ahead. This is the key timing here for Makoto to try to get that lead going. And again, you have to watch those supports once the power runes start to come in. In fact, Q is already setting up behind the Tier 1. Can he get a nice toss back? There is going to be an Observer Ward to keep tabs from that side of the river. So it looks like Q going to make his rotation back up towards the top lane. He has Q keeping his gap and so is Dreamer so on that Morphling. No real openings right now for the Tiny. It seems to be one of the keys to trying to slow down mode of A-Trust is not allowing Q to get those early game toss backs into those T1 towers or anything like that. So uh, he does tend to snowball out of control if you do allow those to happen in the early game. Still bot lane, that's where the power rune is gonna be, but Hyde does lead forward and does take it off Fearless. They'll try to take out this Void Spirit, but he does juke nicely down to the low ground. And nice Ooh. shackles out from Makoto. Q trying to help out, holding onto the Avalanche. He won't get it out in time. Instead, maybe decided to go after Hyde. Does eventually toss back Makoto with the Avalanche now, but Makoto, he already had the wind run going. A bit of hesitation there from Q does cost them. That'll be your first blood coming up for Boom Esports. It's a massive win there from Makoto, right where it counts as well down mid, giving your Wind Ranger a nice early start. This is a bit worrying. Makoto gets that good timing in the Javelin. Level 6 is going to come out soon. Going to be an easy time just getting an additional kill. So Fearless, got to hold out. One death is, does not spell the end. Still keeping up in EXP. You have to watch Mikado. We know what this guy can do on the Wind Ranger. He is a beast if he hits his timings right. And BZ being chased down here by Burnbell. Does still manage to take the banner in away from that Enchantress. Won't be uh, under too much threat here on the LC. So Q's going to try and come in and see if he can pick off FBZ with the stun to start off, but he does press the attack, and Q will never throw out the avalanche toss. Not through the press the attack, he won't. So again, the Tiny not able to get anything done. We are about five and a half minutes in now, and Q is 0-0-0. Zero, zero, and zero. I do think this might be the, uh, kind of the secret to beating out Motivate Trust, especially in the mid-game. They're not really giving the motivate the uh, the great start they usually have. Even if you look at the yeah, CS board right now, Dreamer Soul is leading quite nicely in terms of CS, quite far ahead of Jackie. So everything is going well, but now Makoto is going to get jumped on by Fearless. Still Makoto going to go back for the Haste Rune, does manage to pick it up and now goes for the Focus Fire back onto that Void Spirit with a oh. great Shackles out, but Q is there with the Avalanche Toss and the Resonant Pulse, Makoto is low, but the Magic Missile is going to buy time for Makoto to just wind run out, get some bottle charges off and be just fine. That's a pretty ballsy play for Mikado, of course just forcing out the movements here from MG and MG Trust, they've got to play a bit more cautious. There's a lot of emphasis here on Boom in mid lane. Just trying to get Mikado up and running. They are basically really giving a lot of free space here to Dreamer Cell as well because of the movement smith. So as you mentioned, Dreamer Cell is up there in last hits. You do have a Maseros actually keeping up, but that's a tie. He's clearing out camps in the downtime using that anchor smash. Jackie is not having as good of a start. 10 last hits behind. Your PL is not going to match the timings of that morph. That might be a cause of concern as Dreamer Cell with a mask of ma with the morbid mask ready to be able to get his farm up safely in the jungle if he needs to dip out there. The stacks Kesecute's been preparing here on the side of Boom. A lot of stacks going on in this dire jungle. 
You do have to be a bit wary that that doesn't get scouted out here because Masteros can take them quite easily on the Tide Hunter. Seems like they are going to want to give it away to Makoto on the Wind Ranger, perhaps, and just really allow him to get that fast MKB up. Makoto will make his way over and get started on those stacks as we do have the T1 neutral items coming up now. That'll pretty much give Boom all the uh, all the neutral items through all these all these stacks that they've made. Yeah, gonna be a good time having access to all of them. Of course, uh, yeah, just getting a little use for them still for a long way though. Bot lane, Jewel is going to be out. They do get the kill onto Boom Bill. Now Q going to come back in with the Void Spirit Fearless. He'll turn back around onto Hyde. He's managed to get a trade, but at least for Boom Esports, that is your first 10 Jewel damage for FBZ. That sets themselves up for a really good start here. And you can see Boom starting to find that aggression we know them for. They are finding some early pickoffs. Still playing a relatively slow game, just focusing on that farm being built up. Keski just being very efficient. Of course, with a wave of terror stacks, you can build up. And they're still at a really good spot. Less than one can have quickly, although it's fearless. And does jump in onto Makoto. Now with an avalanche follow-up and a toss back from Q onto Makoto. But he's going to turn around with the focus fire now. And Boom Bill going to get sniped by Makoto with the power shot. FBZ was there just in case they needed the help. Turns out they didn't. Uh, they will get the Enchantress once again. This is really keeping Mikado up there in terms of net worth. Tied up with Green Whistle thanks to all these kills. You still have Masura slightly above. I mean, <laughs> our Tide is getting a lot of free space. It's got to pay off here for MG Trust in a big way. They are sacking their other lanes with this kind of uh, aggression. So we'll see whether or not Masura lines up for it down the line. They do toss Jackie out from that lane. It's time for PL to just go safe in the jungle as you still need to build up on that hero. So you're in the jungle there as Jackie. Dream of Cell now is as well. They're going to be able to go for a bit of a tower push here for Boom down in tier one bot. They will. Same thing will happen up that top lane though. Motivate Trust going for the other tier one tower. A bit of a slow process between these two teams. They don't really have any tower taking kind of heroes. They'll eventually get it done. There is going to be a smoke up here from Keskut and Makoto back down into that bot lane. They're not going to spot out. Bo oh, they did. There's a ward watching Boom Bell right now. Makoto going to try and sneak up for a shackle. Let's pop the wind run. Boom Bell still not realizing. There's your shackle and there's your focus fire out. And that'll be another kill onto Boom Bell. His third death of the game. Makoto enjoying just going after this enchantress. Yeah, and of course with that, Mikoto has his Javelin, so the damage output from the Focus Fire is all the way up. Very good start here for the Wind Ranger, ready to buy some space out for Dreamer Cell. Mikoto going to be looking to play aggressive. Fearless is making it annoying in the jungle though, but does not have the burst potential to handle Dreamer Cell yet. So we're going to have to just watch that Morphling, maybe get some forward out, wards out here for MG Trust, just to keep tracking that farm. Avalanche in from Q, not going to be able to hold down Hyde, and Hyde gets a nice little arrow back onto Fearless. Jackie, Jackie going to join in this mid lane now, looks like he wants to go for that T1 tower push with the Siege Creep. He'll be able to get some decent damage off. Biff will be out though, Makoto with the power shot, just going to go into that Creep wave. Moonlight Shadow to be popped. No sentries down here for Motivate. Won't matter anyway though, they get the siege creep with the arrow, that's all they wanted. They just want to make sure that Motivate Trust do not freely just get T1 towers in the mid lane like that. Yeah, it's gonna stave off the push for a little bit longer. Of course, uh, we haven't seen Masaras commit his Ravage yet, so they do have this uh, big teamfight spell waiting to go. So a lot of patience here from MG Trust, just building up farm, same, things go same thing goes for Boom, Dreamosol. Having a free ride into his Yasha, into the Manta. Gonna be focusing on a bit more of a right click build for the most part. But you're also seeing the same timings being met by Jack. He already uh, switching into the SMY himself. So he'd like to play fast as well. Gonna have to wait and see as the Windows items come out. Just uh, really just farming on both sides efficiently. You've got some pretty interesting creep pulls here. Tanks to this enchanted melee creep. So right onto Maseros. More farm for the tide. Always a good time. It is. Rimasol. 
Farming up some ancient stacks now. Still at the top of the net worth board on that Morphling. He's going to rush into the shotgun build now for Dreamer Cell. So he will be able to get involved early on in this game. Once that shotgun is up. Fearless is trying to focus in on hide up that top lane. But it is a tough kill to get. Especially when he has three leap charges. Might not have enough time to actually take hide out with the jump in. But he's going to give it a shot. Aether Remnant needs to latch on, but he won't even throw one out. Just force Hyde out of there, make him feel a bit uncomfortable. That'll be all for Hyde. That mid lane, Jackie. Try and be disruptive towards Dreamer Cell on that Morphling. He hasn't queued up anything like a, a Diffusal Blade. He just wants to go for an SNY on the PL this game around. Not feeling the need for a Diffusal early on. Yeah, I, I don't mind this from Jackie. Again, he's just going to go for more aggressive plays with that up to be able to join his team a little bit earlier than you'd expect with the SNY. So he's got that flexibility to play with the rest. I think right now, I can trust her. Also building up towards that blink of Q. Our Tiny is just about 800 gold off that item. We're around 700 gold, actually. So once it's up, you know what Q can do. And he does start to find openings for his team. Still, this is benefiting Boom in a big way. Dream Assault just free farming up, queuing into the E Blade, and they do Moonlight Shadow up. They do. Into that mid lane. Jackie should be alright. Looks like they're going to go up towards that top lane where Q is hanging around with Fearless. And Fearless is going to go for a TP, but a Shackles is going to be out from Makoto. And Fearless is going to go down very quick. They'll even chase down Q now on that tiny. See if they can get a secondary pick off here. FBZ can't get in range for the duel, and Kaz Cute could not swap him, in, swap him in either. Still great news for Boom, however, right? 1 to 5, slight, slight net worth lead, just less than 1k, but Dream Assault's farming like a madman. Everything is good. That he is. It, it is. Like, they've gotten the space out for Dream Assault. Jackie's not number one net worth. Does have the SNY up, but as a PL, you know, it looks like he's still going to want to farm more, so it's going to be... A bit of a slower game here. MG Trust just being very patient. They're not being too aggressive, holding back. They say if Boom wants to play the farm game, we'll farm as well. You may have the Morphling, but we have the PL. And they've got this Maseras Tide, which you can never discount. Maseras as well for his part, saving for the Heaven's Halberd. Once you've got that, you can at least put a dent on this Wind Ranger. Disarm her and, well, she can't do damage on Focus Fire without that. So, gotta watch out for that timing. Wow. Um, a uh, tip out to Keskute for whatever reason. And there's that MKB out on Mikado. So his damage is up. This is way earlier than any of the first Halberds. So Mikado will want to make use of this in a big way. And he will. Into that mid lane they go. Fearless is going to be around on the Void Spirit. Still working towards his own, own Yule Scepter. We'll jump in onto FBZ. They will not be able to get the Shackles nor the Jewel. Keskut's hanging around in the Radiant Jungle, seeing if he can sneak up behind somebody, but that is not going to be the case. Still, the whole side of Boom now will just wrap through the Radiant Jungle, but Boom Bell will spot out Keskut. Does slow him up, but Makoto waiting for a nice opportunity to get the shackles off. Will actually just try and back off. It looks like they are going to leave Keskut to die here on the bench. Everyone else is going to TP out of there, and well, you'll lose a courier as well. Keskut's courier. Will go down with uh, with his tranquil boots, unfortunately for him. Yeah, it's a sad time. You're not going to have that for a minute 40. You're going to have to wait once more for more things to fly in. But a freebie going the way of MG Trust, and they do smoke up. Masteress is not in there. He does have a Ravage, but they might be able to blow something else up. He's going to try and bait them in. The MKB is there on your Wind Ranger, so you definitely want to try and get this kill onto the Tide, but it looks like they are onto MG Trust. Still, they're going to jump in onto that Wind Ranger, but a nice swap out. Aether Remnant still going to be there with the Avalanche Cost Makoto. About to drop the Ravage. Won't hit him in time. He'll get out of there. Q now just dying to hide. And here comes your Focus Fire out onto Masteros with the Jewel there from FBZ. They do manage to win out the Team Fight Boom Esports. Had that Ravage hit onto Makoto, it would have been a different story, but it did not. Yeah, it's a massive loss for MG Trust. Two heroes down for nothing. No Ravage for the next fight as well. So boom, they see an opportunity. They're going to take that mid-tier one. Fortify is up, but they're not going to have a defense in time. This tower is just going to fall. 
That's going to open up the jungle for Boom. The bot lane's going to be very safe to farm off. They are clumping around Fearless. Ash will step the other way, but Hind has a Yule Scepter into the shackles, but it does not go onto Fearless. Ooh. Just the creep to the tree. Fearless now going to spot out Dreamer Cell. FBZ and Keskut all in their jungle. So you're going to try and go in for an avalanche toss play. It does kill off Keskut and they're trying to hit and run here. Maseros just going to block off the side for Boom Esports from actually chasing any further, but he might be in trouble now. The arrow does connect now with the jewels coming out from FBZ and Maseros. Going to go down a dream or so on the Morphling. Yeah, that's, that's not a good sign for MG Trust. They aren't too far behind. It's still just a 2k lead for Boom. But I look at the side of Boom. FBZ's got 4k damage on. They've got this momentum up. They're still Here. trying to go, though. Avalanche toss on to Hyde. And, well, Fearless will just jump in and blow him up. They're still fighting pickoffs here and there, Motivate Trust, and the game does remain relatively even. The one thing that does stand out is Dreamer Soul is still farming a lot faster than Jackie at the moment. Currently about 2k ahead of the PL. And he's uh, getting closer and closer to having that Ethereal Blade up. Yeah, it's going to be scary once Dreamer Soul does have that farm for the E-Blade. You're going to have to watch yourself with a real PL there. You're going to have to watch yourself with every hero because they're... Beyond Masteros, they're all fairly squishy. You gotta be careful with how far forward you get. Boom. You know, they're fine with it. And Dreamer Cell is still winning out the farm wars. They're getting some key kills on Mikato. The BKB for our Wind Ranger is about to come up. And once you've got that, it should be safer for Mikato to be in the front. The, what MG Trust needs right now really is for Masteros to actually finish his farm. So he's gonna go into the Heaven's Halberd. Still not done. Once you've got that, he is going to the Ghost Scepter. I think they need to blink. They need to. They need him to blink Ravage right on top of the heroes. They need to pin down. If you catch the Wind Ranger at the edge, he's just going to run away. It's not a guaranteed hit. The one who does have the blink right now is FBZ. They've uh, Moonlight Shattered up in that mid lane, hoping someone's going to come into farm, but nobody will. So Boom will give up on that kind of gank attempt. Now going to wrap towards that top lane where Jackie is, but Jackie... He's got a Diffusal Blade, and he will TP back towards his own team. They may go for a Counter Smoke. They will. Ravage is back up on Maseros. He might try to bait for his team again. Scan out, not going to catch anyone. Keskut going to have his smoke broken there with Q. Link forward from Q with the Avalanche toss out, and that'll be Keskut gone. They got the Yules off onto Q, but it won't really matter. It's Hyde can't get an arrow off in time. Now Jackie going to rush forward onto that Mirana. And he just could not get away. Nice two kills going to the way of Motivate Trust. So that'll be it for him. They won't find anyone else. Yeah, it's just a game of cat and mouse. That does open up the Roche, though. But looks like they're just playing both. No, they do go in. They commit. They're going to have that. Um, Boom is going to have to move fast to counteract this. They do have some blinks. They should know something's up, but they don't have vision. Starting to get a bit concerned here now for Boom Esports as Jackie's farm is starting to catch up to Dreamer Cell. And we've seen Pure vs. Morphling many times during the late game. It doesn't necessarily favor the Morphling. Mm. The Pure just becomes such a pain, although they do jump in again with the Avalanche on FBZ. He's going to be alright. He'll walk away. Now the arrow connecting onto the Tiny. Almost taking him out, but not quite. Q is going to survive, and now cares Q. Going to die once again on the Venge. They got the Aegis over to Jackie. Everything is just fine. Motivate Trust. They'll try for a T1 mid tower. Yeah, they, they should be able to find us. There's still a blink duel here from FBZ. But the tower just melts. So that was also the uh, E-Blade reveal here from Dream Hotel. He was forced to E-Blade for some reason FBZ. I'm, I'm not too sure why that occurred. But they couldn't get the duel out because of it. So the entire fight was just sort of awkward for Boom. Gonna have to... Be a bit cautious. I mean, they can still go for the burst opportunities. Dreamer Cell is still pretty big. They're going to have to find the right targets, though, as uh, MG Trust are looking to pick, although they do Moonlight. They do. They're going to run straight into Fearless and Maseros. Uh, Ravage is still up. They're not going to actually fight into them. Get to the point soon where Fearless will have a Lincoln Sphere available, and that's going to make it a lot harder to deal with him. So 
you won't necessarily be able to get the shackles nor the jewels off. Even that shotgun from the Morphling. You know, I don't think Boom really want to wait this one out. I mean, I know it's tough with their draft to try and take advantage early on, but you are still versing a Phantom Lancer. It's going to be painful in that late game to try and deal with him and catch him out. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be really slippery if Jackie does get the space out. Like, if you look at level 25, of course, once that doppled CD is up, you're just not going to pin him down. So you've got to be cautious about playing it slow. They do take a tier 2 for free there on the side of MG Trust. They've still got, what, 3 minutes full on the Aegis. They've got a lot of time to play with here. Boom. And they are still farming up. They're not too far behind. 2k lead for MG Trust. The Illus. Again, Dreamer still still on top, though. Using both his steps to try and catch up Makoto, but he will not. And now he cops an arrow, but Maseros is going to be there with a Ravage in case. They almost turn back around to go after Fearless, but they don't want to deal with the Tide Hunter, And I can't quite blame them. And speaking of the Tide, John, he is going to go back for that blink now. So, yep. you'll get your wish. You'll get the yeah, blink up after the Halberd's finished. And uh, I mean, the Halberd's great. It's going to mess up the duels. And oh, oh, FBZ, it. he got fogged. No. Yeah, he's trying for that jewel, the shackles. Will oh, latch on, he'll go for it, but they have help. Q, going to toss him away. He's not going to die yet. Maseros, yeah. he'll get the Ravage off in time. And Jackie, going to try and fight this one out with Fearless. We'll just jump straight in onto Keskew. No, make that Dreamer Cell. He's out of mana on the Morphling. He will one charge up and just run away, but they're not done yet. They're going to go after Keskew. They'll take down the Venge. That'll be it. A one for one. Still a good trade out for Boom Esports. They got the Tide, they got the Ravage expended. They only lost their pause 5. Yeah, so good time here for Boom, but you can see the issues once Jackie starts focusing in on Remo Cell. He just runs out of mana and then he doesn't do anything. He's not quite a right click hero when he's fully strength morphed up. They take the free tier 1 and they maintain that lead here, MG Trust. Again, they've still got a good amount of time on that Aegis. I think it's about a minute and a half now, so just a little bit more. They could eke out one more fight. Do not have Ravage, though, but Q would heads up play. Just stalled it out long enough with that toss. Just That's what you want to see from Tiny's. Offensive and defensive uses of the spells, and it just keeps them above. MG Trust, widen that gap. 3k. Even Q, even Q is actually going for an E-Blade as well, just to mess that right-click damage from Mikado and from FBZ. Healers. No in duel is going to be out in time from FBZ. They want to blow him up and they do. Fearless playing a little bit too on the edge. Shackles going to fly out onto Boom Bell, but he'll be all right for now. Here comes the Avalanche toss out from Q, but it won't be enough to beat out Makoto. Hyatt's going to go down on the Mirana to Maseros. Still a one for one, but Hyde, he did buy back. Jackie, continuing to just chase down Makoto, does force out the BKB charge. Back onto Dreamer, so it is, but Dreamer, so wants to try and fight up against Maseros, but just doesn't do any damage. And now Q gonna go back in for the Avalanche toss onto FBZ. It won't be enough though. Hyde, going for the arrow onto Jackie. Jackie's getting very, very low, but he still has the Aegis. Back into Dreamer, so they go. They'll purge him up. Jackie. Doesn't seem to want to give up the Aegis. Power shot barely missing out. Dreamer Cell going to get oh. the shotgun off. Does kill him. Masteros, however, has Ravage up in 20 seconds. And they'll get Hyde once again on the Mirana. That's a dieback. And you know they want to keep chasing. They know they can fight here. Masteros will get the gush off onto Keskut. But they have detection. Q, going to go for the Avalanche. Does eventually find out the Venge into the tossback. That'll be two going down for Boom Esports now. And John, I, I didn't really notice, but Masteros has got the Imp Claw on the Tide Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> so he crits with the Anchor Smash. Well, that's just perfect. Yep, that's what you want. And, you know, talking about Jackie. Ooh. Shackles is out with the Jewel out onto Jackie, but there's the Ravage coming out now from Masteros. They kill off Makoto and FBZ also going to go down. Did they forget that the Ravage was available? Maybe they were thinking that they'd burst down fast enough. It's not the case, though. Into the high ground, and, you know, I want to talk about Jackie. He died right in the edge. He had five seconds on that Aegis when he died the first time. I think he should have just thrown his body out, but, you know, he got lucky that the timer was on his side. And the racks, it's going to fall. There's not much these two heroes can do. Boom. We've got to find a way to defend the other racks. Though. They're going to be up very fast. We've got they to do have, something here. They don't have buybacks, though. 
Jackie is a real problem now. They've even got the Vladmir's out onto Masros in Q, jumping in for the Avalanche, but not getting the toss back on Keskut. Impetus is going to take down almost half of Keskut's HP. They'll get the tier 3 top tower with the mid-racks, and that'll be enough. MG Trust, they are very happy with that. Now leading by 12k net worth. And Boom Esports, they've been in this position twice already throughout this series. It's, it's looking tough for them, John. They haven't found a way out yet. No, they, they are. They have a lot of work to put in now. Excuse me. They've got a lot of work to put in. The BKB still has to fly out here for Dream Hotel. Trying to save up for... I believe he buys it out, but that's not going to leave our Morphling with buyback. So, scary spot. There's, a, there's an E-Blade up on Q again to break up the duel, to break up the focus fire. So you've got that, that tool on hand. They've got to make this BKB work. Dreamer has got to make good use of it in the next fight. Because this might be a trap. Like, he does not have buyback for a thousand gold. He should be able to farm it up. But you know, MG Trust, they're not going to be sitting back for too long. Maybe the furthest they'll wait for is the Roche. And we'll find out oh, in about lane. 30 seconds when it's up. Right. He doesn't have buyback. It's on cooldown to press the attack. The leaps, it may not be enough. They can chase him down here. No. Jackie will decide not to. No need to overextend when you've got this net worth lead for MG Trust. They'll wait for another day. I think they are just yeah, very so. confident going into the late game here. In fact, boom, they've Moonlight Shattered up. They're going to try and go into Masteros with the duel out, and he has Ravage up in five seconds, though. They've got to get him down ASAP through the duel. They don't. He might just Ravage now. Two seconds left for it. Meanwhile, Fearless going on to Makoto. He's popped the BKB, but Jackie is chasing, even though the Focus Fire is taking him Ooh. out. Jackie! He really wanted that Wind Ranger. Avalanche tossed though from Q now. He has an Ethereal Blade on the Tiny. Hyde gonna go down. Dream Assault wanting to jump back in. Masteros still has that Ravage, but they don't want to fight without Jackie. Dream Assault will be able to kill off Boom Bell. And it seems like Jackie may have forgotten that Focus Fire does continue through the Doppelganger. <laughs> yep. It's the, it's the one way you can really find that real appeal. Gotta be cautious about that. Huge opening for Boom. Might be able to find a tower, but doesn't look like they're gonna be able to push fast enough. They're still gonna hold out though, but the respawns aren't that long from MG Trust, and they still have a Ravage. That they do. 10k net worth lead. Dream of Soul gonna go into Masteros. FBZ will be smoked up there. He has a dual back up. Q gonna juke out. The magic missile out from Keskut, but they want to try and go on to Fearless. Looks like they will ignore him for now. You've got to be a bit cautious. There's 10 seconds for this peel to be back up. He's still real menace here. It's about that time where both teams probably start just posturing for the Roshan. Yeah. It is still going to be uh... a minute away. Yeah, enough time for both sides to recuperate, start setting up some wards. It's gonna be the next big objective for both of them. Much more important for Boom. They do not want to give it off. They're gonna need it as well if they want to force bigger fights. And we'll see if they'll get that control out. MG Trust lost a bit of that lead, down to 10k from about 12 or 14. So just uh, dropping a bit. Gotta be cautious, I think. Jackie he needs to be careful with his position. He is the main damage dealer. He is, you know, the hard carry does need to get the work out. I believe if he was around with the E-Blade much faster, that might not have been an issue. He just wasn't able to get there in time. Want to stick perhaps a bit closer to get it here, MG Trust? They are just going to wait it out. Play it slow. Roche now, 10 seconds off. And they do have the blink up on Masaru, so it's easier to get the Ravage off. That should help them set up for even bigger fights here for MG. Hey. Roshan's there. Boom Esports. Keeping grouped up. BKB now on FBZ and they want to try with the fight. This 10 second BKB charge. Who do they run into first? 
More fearless. Does go onto the other side of the river. They'll ignore him. They want to try onto Burnbell, but Masros is just around with the Ravage. He'll get stunned up for quite a while, in fact, but not long enough to take him out. They do get Burnbell. Imasol trying for the shotgun. Won't be able to get it on the Tidehunter. That was uh, Dream Assault's 9 second BKB being expended. MG Trust, they look like they still want to fight this. Arrow will actually land onto the Tide Hunter again. And boom, they are going to disengage. So just accepting the fact that they got that kill, that'll be enough for them. Get a bit of jewel damage there for FBZ. Mask of yep. Madness up on Dream Assault. Yeah, I think he's going to have to dis he's gonna disassemble it. He just forgot to lock his mask longer. So it's going to be into the butterfly, and the rush is up. Jackie straight in. No wards from Boob to watch at anymore. they got to be a bit cautious. They're going to try to distract elsewhere here, and we trust. Arrow will scout it out. They know he's in there. They're going to bite into a ravage, though. It's not going to be an easy feat for them. Moonlight Shadow, 40 seconds on cooldown. FBZ being caught out there by your Void Spirit into the Aether Remnant. They want to try and blow FBZ up. He does BKB with the 10 second charge and barely gets out. In for Dreamer Cell. But Fearless. They catch him with that Aether Remnant. Won't be able to. Back into the Roshan Pit. Another arrow to scout out the Roshan HP. But, oh, they've caught out Keskut on the bench. That Roshan again, it's getting low. They can scout out with this Venge Illusion. Power Shot is going to be there with an arrow as well, but Jackie jukes that out. Meanwhile, Fearless trying to get Makoto. Does catch him with the Aether Remnant, but Makoto just waiting for his BKB. But there's your Ravage. It's not going to make it in time to catch the Wind Ranger, but they got Hyde. He'll buy back immediately onto Dreamer Cell, but they are going to back after the buybacks are committed. Boom Bell might just die here for the cause. Masaros going to use that Halberd onto the Morphling and they'll re-engage now. FBZ going to be careful as he does get jumped with the 8th Remnant, but a nice swap out from Kenskut. That'll be your dieback, however, on the bench. FBZ oh. still in trouble. Hyde's gone down as well. There's three heroes down with that buyback. Oh, MG Dreamer Trust, Cell. they are looking good here. They're starting to celebrate as Dreamer Cell has been caught out. He's got no HP or mana left. He gets tossed up. He goes down. Oh, MG Trust. They can taste victory. 15k net worth in the lead with an Aegis out and a cheese for Jackie. They're going to head towards that high ground now. See if they can get that final lane of Barracks. They do still yeah, have to go they... through a tier 2 tower though, in all fairness. Mm. Yeah, it looks like uh, they don't care. I think they're going to go straight for tier 4. They understand the advantage they have. You have to worry. Again, they, there have been moments where Boom can make plays, and it's all down to Mikado to hold out. They should get a couple of respawns in time, and they can force the buyback in Dream Cell. But yeah, it off. is getting scary. Got the axe up on Fearless now. They may, they may not be expecting this. The main sports could be their last team fight. They've got to try and make it happen. To try and continue this grand final. They've got a repair kit. They'll use it on one tier four, but Fearless is going to jump in once again, straight onto Kezkut. They want to blow up this bench, and they will. Now onto FBZ, but they get the BKB out in time. On that LC, he's looking for the dual attempt. He's not going to get it yet in Q. He's going to be able to walk away. Back onto those T4 towers now. The Ancient is going to be exposed. They need to jump in right here, right now. Boom Esports. They'll buy oh. out onto Dreamer Cell. The toss back on Jackie. The jewel's going to be nothing. Now FBZ gone back on. He'll go down. Jackie's got him. Back onto the Ancient. Half HP. Boom. They're just retreating right now. They can't defend this. Oh. That's going to be it. GG's call. Motivate Trust. A 3-0 victory in the grand final up against Boom Esports. And I cannot believe I'm saying that, John. Motivate Trust out of nowhere. Oh, man. Like, the, the entire journey of Motivate Trust was just a wild ride, right? Like, group stage barely in the upper bracket. And after that, immediately in the playoffs, immediately knocked down to the lower bracket. They climbed through. They've had some rough patches, but it looks like the Thai boys did figure it out. Boom. I mean, they had a smooth ride. They looked good in groups. They looked good in playoffs. And they beat out Among Us convincingly.
and you know they had the time break here they didn't have to play a series beforehand but mg trust just step up their game it looked like they had boom esports number and unfortunately for boom i mean i feel for these boys you know they've, they've been stuck at this point a lot but back to second place for them mg trust though big props to them momentous victory first big win for a full tie stack if i believe and that just puts them into the spotlight this is their day to celebrate it's been a long journey but they are the champions for the bts pro series season three that they are john and with that they are that's it for the tournament bts pro series mm. season three is